everybody, Nick here for another f Cinema 4D tutorial and today I'm going to be going over a quick little uh, option that you have in your Motext um, your Motext objects which you can find under MoGraft and it's Motext and it is kerning. So pretty much what the kerning is is um, the spacing, the sizes, the different letters and everything and you can adjust all of this within one word so that you're not making multiple different letters to make one word but they're different sizes. Um, if you actually come down here to the kerning um, little tab here and you hit this little arrow it gives you a bunch of different options here and there's also this show 3D GUI which pulls up the letters so if I go ahead and I'm just going to hide this, I, I'll i drop another one in for reference here because it works best in the front view. Uh, Nick, let's just change this. Pick a cool font, whatever you guys want. I'm going to do Antonio and bold and perfect. So now when I click this show 3D GUI, the letters pop up and when I click on the letters it's what letter I'm going to uh, be affecting and you can either use the um, options inside your uh, attributes panel or there are some options on the screen uh, for example this arrow over here will make the uh, the vertical scale bigger the other one makes the horizontal scale bigger. This one, uh, there's like an arrow down here, which is the the baseline, so you can set uh, where the letter is. Um, there's the scale in general, so you can scale it up, you can scale it down. The tracking is pretty much the uh, horizontal horizontal distance between the two and the kerning. The tracking and the kerning are pretty similar. They may change when you have two. Yeah, so they're pretty much the same thing. But the but the nice thing is now knowing this is you can go and um, adjust just um, all your options here for your letters quick easy one simple letter um, and you have and you have your uh, all your options within the one little panel all right guys I just wanted to show you that little trick about kerning and uh, I'm sure some of you guys will find that useful. I know there's a few times before I found this little uh, option that for one letter I was trying to use a few different Motex objects and different sizes of letters and then I was trying to line them up and everything and it just causes headaches. So this is a super quick way to get around that. Alright guys, hope you found this useful and I'll talk to you guys all next time. See ya.